Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. Today we're working a little bit more on this face, getting this finished up. And I had mentioned that uh, I'd run up each of these sides to clean them up, but when I had, uh, I was not showing proper square. So let me try and get a measured value here. Failure gate. Well, I'm getting, uh, I'm getting an eighth hour feeler gauge in all the way over here a foot from this side. Uh, the other way is not as bad, so I could have something to do with this point of bar, but uh, also I, from what I've measured on this cutter, it's uh, at least a thou bigger diameter here than it is here. So I'm, I'm gonna say that thou bigger diameter is having an effect on the squareness of this. So I've gone to a smaller end mill and uh, hopefully in a combination of deflection plus the fact that this one measures closer on size, uh, maybe I can get this out of it. So I'm gonna fire it up and try and take a light pass up this side and see what we get. Well, I'm not sure what I just did there, but anyway, uh, I'd gone and gotten this other end mill. Uh, it was the one I could find that was the closest to having zero taper. And I've come back and run this up through here. And I don't know if... see it there you can see the uh, the pattern blend out this is not cutting on the far end it was heavier cut on this front side which is what needed to happen for this to come out square and I'm pretty happy with it now put that up there at Looks pretty good and square. It's not touching. And it looks to be consistent. So I'm laying it out, get some light. When it's up all the way, there it is. So I think it's pretty good. I'm gonna measure across this face uh, real close before I take this down and be sure that this side is indeed checking parallel with that side. Well, the next step now I've got this thing square is to uh, cut this back angle on here to try and get it true to the face. Do this in the same setup as I had it in. That introduces the least amount of error. Uh, hopefully, the machine straightened out so it works okay. But I've got this boring head in here, got the bar turned so the cutter is backwards. So I have to run the table out and that may. 
they cause an issue. I don't know if there's cock any on here or not. I don't always run pulling in instead of pushing out, but in this case, it's going to have to push out. So, and I'll go super fast with this because it's uh, greatest not a lot of clearance here on the top or the bottom I can't go off the end of it so I gotta be pretty careful so, but uh, let's see what happens Cleaned up all the way. Let's see what we got.
Ser. That's how I get this face square and parallel to this face. And looks like did a pretty good job. I'm gonna say it's within a couple of thousandths over this whole travel as well. And I've got it match thickness from this side to this side. So I'm pretty happy with that. The uh, next step on this, I guess, will be flipping this thing over on its face and doing the ramways. Uh, that's, that's the important one is keeping that square with this. Now I've got all this true and parallel and kept as much of the material as I could and some people did comment about the surface on the bottom but uh, when I indicated this in I went off the ramways up here at the top to set this up so I would remove the least amount of material possible up here and in order to make it square with this it was supposedly out about 15 thousandths uh, from where so we're trying to get that better and it's a fun little learning project I didn't realize about that end mill being uh, ground with a taper to it that created that little problem there on the face but uh, they're checking good and square now with my precision square or start precision rule square Anyway, the, as good as it is, it's square. And uh, I'm happy with it so far. So I think Bailey will approve. Well, I guess Bailey's wandered off again, but this job's not complete. So I guess he wouldn't sign off on it anyway. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll catch you later.